It seems like only yesterday that I made a video about what will happen if you use one of these without a ham radio operator license. And in that video, I said, basically nothing will happen. And I went on to explain why, statistically speaking, nothing will happen. I explained how and where I got all of the data and information supporting what I said. And I included a link to that data at the FCC website so that anyone can look up that same data and information and either confirm or dispute what I said. And so far, no one has done that. But also in that video, I made it clear that I do not have a ham radio operator license. And while on camera, I transmitted on this Boofwang UV5R like this. And then further on in the video, I transmitted again on this Boofwang UV5R like this. And in the comments section of that video, some people lost their sh Some people were completely enraged that I had the audacity to speak the truth about the lies that they have been spreading for years. Specifically, the lies that if you transmit on their magical privileged airwaves without first memorizing a test, you will get a $250,000 fine, or you will go to jail. But some people were even more enraged that I would dare to commit a felony on YouTube by transmitting on my Boofwang UV5R without a ham radio operator license. Like this. Reading through the comments section of that video was like watching a gaggle of Radio Karens all demanding to see the manager of the ham radio outlet store all at the same time. They left dozens of comments calling me a liar, incidentally, which is exactly what I predicted in that video they would do. But they also called me a fraud. They called me an anarchist. They called me mentally challenged. One that really hurt my feelings was that nobody watches my YouTube videos and I was on welfare. One called me the Leah Thomas of ham radio. I don't even know what that means. One even proclaimed that I was gay. They said I was breaking the law. They said I was causing people to jam repeaters and that I am responsible for those people's actions. They said that I had no right to talk about ham radio stuff without a ham radio license. They said that I was too stupid to get a ham radio license. They said that I was killing my channel. Several then also went on and rage commented across a dozen or more of my other videos, all with the same complaints. And one has even claimed to have reported me to the FCC and started a campaign to have me arrested. And all for doing this. The comment section of that video was a veritable sad hamathon. It was a true sad ham orama a butthurt gasm with a not so happy ending and it was spectacular however now that i have had some time to reflect upon the error of my ways and the possible consequences of doing this I realized that maybe I had gone too far and I should not have done that. So to help heal all of the butthurt and pain that I am apparently responsible for, I woke up early this morning and I went to the store and I bought this.
So if you are a social defective in need of the cool, soothing relief of your butt hurt, please leave a comment and cry more. And, oh, before I forget, this Bufwang UV5R that got some people so worked up every time I transmitted without a ham license is the GMRS version of the Bufwang UV5R FCC Part 95 approved for transmitting on GMRS channels, including GMRS Channel 4, which is what I was transmitting on every single time I pressed that button. And because I have a GMRS license, no felonies were committed. So better luck next time.